Global trading markets are currently being driven by politics rather than economic factors. After the U.S. president announced February 16 as the date of a possible Russian invasion of Ukraine, the focus of market participants is on tomorrow's events. Based on these expectations and worries, it can be concluded that prices are showing signs of overheating due to an aggravation of the situation. Oil quotes are trading at record highs and are likely to reach the next target level of $100 per barrel. Interestingly, Saudi Arabia and Russia have not yet taken any decisive steps. Last year, Moscow and Riyadh stated that they were not interested in excessively high oil prices and would not allow that to happen. Well, this is that very moment, but the largest oil exporters remain silent. Obviously, such prices suggest a rocky road to full economic recovery and the situation requires drastic actions. Perhaps they will step up when oil rises to $100 and if the political situation does not stabilize. In the meantime, Brent crude oil futures once again hit a new local high of their upward cycle. Slowly but surely, speculators are pushing the quote up to the level of $100 per barrel. If the price overcomes this psychological barrier, Brent crude will probably face a rebound, followed by a correction as the oil market is highly overheated. Notably, the benchmark has added more than 24% since early 2022 and 48% since 2020. Meanwhile, choppy trading in the foreign exchange market continues. The Russian currency is still showing unusually high volatility. Of course, such price swings can be attributed to political news. Yesterday, the degree of the conflict intensity seemed to decrease. Against this background, the Russian currency managed to pass some of its losses. Nevertheless, it's too early to talk about the exchange rate stability yet. Market participants are waiting for new announcements. Therefore, the past volatility may well spike. Any careless statement can lead to steep losses in the Russian currency. Thus, the fate of the ruble is in the hands of the world media today. From a technical point of view, after a jump to 78 rubles per dollar at the end of the last week, the dollar-ruble pair made a technical pullback. At the moment, the pair's movement can be classified as speculative and highly dependent on fundamental news. Until excitement over the situation with Ukraine subsides, there is no point in relying on technical analysis tools. The news is currently the main driver of the market. The only technical forecast that will most likely come true is a technical correction after a sharp upward movement. Meanwhile, with the ruble's wild swings and growing worries about Russia-Ukraine tensions in the media, investors are fleeing to safe haven assets. Against this background, gold has reached the highest level in three months and continues to set new records. The precious metal has already advanced to $1,870 per ounce. Obviously, gold has every chance of extending gains thanks to its safe haven appeal until the situation stabilizes. However, do not forget that defensive assets are relevant only during turbulent times. As in the case of oil, a subsequent sharp fall in gold prices is inevitable in case of a decline in global political tensions. Thus, gold futures not only continued their upward cycle, but also broke through the local high posted on November 16. Notably, the last price change is of inertial nature. This means that there is a risk of local overheating of long positions. This, in turn, may result in a technical pullback or correction. Gold will continue its bullish run if the price consolidates above $1,920 per ounce on the daily chart. And well, this was the forecast for today. Please stay up to date with the latest news and events and have a profitable trading day. See you back soon.